Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Wow, today is August 28th and I thought I'd do a special nighttime edition. Another round of thunderstorms potentially for Western Washington up towards Southwest BC tomorrow. Watching the Portland radar to see if any of these echoes you know, start building up here over the next hour or two. You can see the beams kind of hitting the higher terrain there. These are not thunderstorms, that's actually mountain peaks. And for example, that one would be Mount Rainier right there. So why am I watching that Doppler radar? Well, you can see this next wave rounding our storm system off the coastline here. And this is what's gonna be responsible for some of that thunderstorm activity as we go through tomorrow and on through the late morning hours. Eventually this will push across the Cascades and through eastern Washington tomorrow evening as well and start getting out of the region here as we go on in towards uh, later on the day Wednesday and then we have another trough that's going to come down here across Pacific Northwest some nice precipitation amounts may be possible with that as well now this is looking at the lightning as we went through the day today thunderstorms started off the washington coast vancouver island very busy day today a lot of lightning strikes going on and look at this olympic mountains got going the puget sound south puget sound got in on the action there too as we went through the late morning afternoon hours and look at all these lightning strikes off some of the san juans here skagit whatcom county southwest bc continuing all the way in through the evening and tonight is this a portion of the system tracked north and you can see the marine there did not burn off for much of western washington and western oregon and i picked up a lot of those lightning strikes on my weather station here as they moved off across the kitsap peninsula and northbound here it was very fun to watch those come in save 10 percent on the link if you click it down below and you can kind of see how this started about 11 a.m at my house you can scroll through these lightning strikes here it's even a little bit better on the smartphone i'm looking at the desktop app here but you can see another lightning strike occurred about 21 to 24 miles away there about 1 30 highly recommend that station now this is looking at the european didn't do too bad today and you can see as we go through tonight that activity doing pretty well with that moving up north but then it kicks this next round here off the southern washington cascades and this starts to move over some of the seattle metro here and again across western washington up towards southwest bc moves across the cascades and you can kind of see almost the spin in the atmosphere here move across eastern washington tomorrow night and evening and then finally move out of the area sometime on the day wednesday before the next trough will arrive this is looking at the nam 3km so check this out the nam also says hey we're gonna get thunderstorm activity off the south cascade is gonna move out over the puget sound lowlands here and potentially a couple rounds of it here too is another thunderstorm signal showing up here as you go on through about what 10 11 a.m across some of the seattle metro you can kind of see the spin in the atmosphere it's pretty good precipitation amounts might arrive for some areas here there's some pretty good three hour totals up over a half an inch as well if that finally moves out on wednesday afternoon then you can see that <clears throat> excuse me that next trough start to roll through western washington here as well and some moderate rain showing up there also so yeah maybe fall's gonna arrive a little bit early but don't get your hopes up just yet here mossbacks across the pacific northwest this is looking at the herd the 3k the 3km this is the zero three run here so this is about 8 p.m when this model ran i'm updating it to make sure we have all the information and the herd does not agree here it shows this lightning activity mainly across snohomish some of the San Juans again getting another round across Vancouver Island, Southwest BC. Then you can kind of see it pivot across the Cascades in eastern Washington going out to hour 14 right now. But again, the NAM and the European do show that lightning activity starting over some of the southern Washington Cascades and moving off to the northeast. This is looking at the NAM 3 cam. Look at some of these precipitation totals. These are three hour running totals. You can see this activity moving northbound. Look at right near the Seattle Metro there, up over half an inch in a three hour period. You know, which model is going to be right here? This is going to be interesting to see as it comes across the region. European actually showing some pretty good precipitation as well. And you can kind of see a spin in the atmosphere there, favoring some of the higher terrain, Okanagan, Northeast Washington, Idaho Panhandle, as it moves on in through BC here as well. And on into Montana. Then the next system, some pretty good three hour totals here showing up across some of the Puget Sound down towards Western Oregon as well. And this would be about Thursday morning shown there. We'll watch that system a little bit more and go into some more detail during my briefing tomorrow. This is the profile I pulled for about 1 a.m. here Tuesday morning for SeaTac. 700 mil bars is about 10,000 feet. You see that instability is 10,000 feet or higher, but you're not going to see the bases up at 10,000 feet. You're going to be dealing with this marine layer that we saw in the satellite imagery. And you can see 
see the saturated layer here, 5,000 feet and below, just kind of persistent. So it might put a damper on some of the photography potential here for Western Washington. If you want better lightning strikes, the you know the Eastern Washington might be a better choice here. You can see we are not saturated. The screen line is the dew point. The red is the temperature. You've got a nice spread there. So you're probably going to have a much better view of the bases there as you go through tomorrow. And you can kind of see that unstable layer generally above 10,000 feet for Eastern Washington as well, high base storms. This is looking at day one, kind of wrapping up now. But as we go towards day two, you can see that severe risk here for Pendleton, Spokane, just kind of clipping Boise there and in Seattle included in that thunderstorm threat tomorrow. And there is a wind and hail threat with that, I should mention as well. Six to 10 day temperature probability outlook. Look at this update today. Nice blue signal here across a lot of the West Coast. Very nice looking. I know the mossbacks are cheering right now across the region. This is the six to 10 day precipitation probability outlook. So maybe kind of like a little, a false fall arriving here for a, a brief period here through the uh, early portion of September. But don't get too excited just yet because September can still get downright hot. You can still get 90 degree days across the Puget Sound as you go through the month of September. Of course, you guys know what happens once you get towards October, November, though. We kind of flip a switch. But anyway, yeah, watching this, let's update this. I'm just going to F5 it and see what happens here. Don't see anything just yet, but you can kind of see this is where that next round of thunderstorms is going to be. And where will this fire off? The herd keeps it a little bit further west and north of the area. The European, the NAM 3 cam kind of showing that firing off a little bit further south off the Washington Cascade. It's kind of interesting to see which model is going to be correct. And I have not decided if I'm going to stay up all night and kind of try to get my fix of some lightning and thunder out there, or if I'm just going to wake up really early in the morning, we'll see how I feel here as we go. But anyway, yeah, I'll do my regular briefing tomorrow at some point. If I start to feel I'm going to see something good, I'll try to bring uh, my live streaming phone here and try to get you guys in on the action, maybe do some Q&A and whatnot as well if we start to see some good lightning. If not, I'll just do my regular briefing tomorrow and try to share with you guys what I got. But anyway, yeah, I'll get this video out here and I uh, will talk to you guys tomorrow and hope you guys get some uh, fun action out there. We don't start any forest fires, hopefully, because that was a lot of lightning across Vancouver Island as we went through the day today, Western BC and across the higher terrain. So hopefully not starting any new fires here. But yeah, here we go. Thunderstorms coming tomorrow morning. So anyway, I will talk to you guys either very early tomorrow morning or maybe just for the regular briefings. And I hope you guys are having a good night.